our next topic, our final topic, has to do with a little game, Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Oh, yeah. It's happening. Confirmed leaks. I don't How can you confirm leaks? Have you seen the leaks? Yeah. They... We have email chains confirmed from Ubisoft employees talking about it. Yeah. Like, they literally have the emails in there. Granted, but, you know, if you see it at a place like us, like a legit media site, all that's blacked out besides the at Ubisoft stuff because you're trying not to get people fired. Right. Uh, Yeah. Someone's probably going to get fired for it. But I don't know. Ubisoft has so many leaks come out all the time. Like, their Assassin's Creed game they're making now. So they're like the White House. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that's bad. (laughs) That's bad. Um. I'm a massive Mario fan. You love the Rabbids. Oh, yeah. Uh, it is a weird combo. It is. It definitely is. It's an RPG. According to the the facts that we learned, 35% exploration, 65% combat, and, <laughs> and, and somehow there's no direct control of the characters, which I don't know if that's just another way for saying it's not an action game. It's turn-based, so like you just select attacks and then watch it happen. Okay, but versus then, like controlling yeah. it, where you know, like in like as an example, uh, you can make some arguments that a little bit of Secret of Mana has some turn-based combat in it, but there's still a lot of action. You're still hitting buttons to swing your sword and stuff. Right. So it might, it might just be saying, look, you don't it, jump it be, Mario yourself. Like you a, don't well, shoot the like guns a, yourself. It could be like a Paper Mario Which, where yeah, there's where, guns. where you you have to time your hits. Yeah. I mean, you may not be doing the actual physical attacking. But you still have to time your. I think a lot of people are hoping it's like Super Mario and Luigi, uh, the RPG kind of game, but mixed in with rabbits and humor and stuff. Yeah, I think that's what they're hoping. Um, so we'll see. We haven't seen any gameplay, so we don't honestly know what it looks like. There's some people like, "Oh, this looks like crap." I'm like, "What looks like crap?" We haven't seen the game. Right. Exactly. You don't like the art? Okay, it looks but like it, Mario and Rabbit. Exactly, it looks exactly like. Um, a Mario there's some and weird Rabbids things game. in there that you don't feel like Nintendo would, would would do. Like in one of the art, it has like nicknames for all the characters, and Princess Peach is called the Badass Princess. Yeah, and that doesn't seem like Nintendo would allow something like that. Yeah, but but then again, we are talking about a Nintendo that I feel like's been a little edgier. Right. Um, in Breath of the Wild, ju- this is just an off the cuff example. If you wait for a certain NPC to walk across the bridge and then you go to the edge of it, like you're going to jump off and paraglide, he will try to tell you to stop because he doesn't want you to commit suicide. Right. That's a pretty damn serious topic oh, to bring up sure. in a Nintendo game. Oh, for sure. So if they'll do that, what the hell? Oh, I mean, oh, no, badass, badass fits in yeah. with the rabbits. Yeah, so oh, yeah, that's, for sure. So that's, you know, that's not well, out of the and, realm of possibility for the rabbits. And you can, so you can I feel like, label that like with Ubisoft is developing it on their own. Uh, with I think it's with the team that made Rayman Legends. So they are, you know, doing some cool stuff. Uh, we don't know what it looks like. Uh, you know, we know that there's people have been calling it. Oh, Mario's gonna shoot a gun. It looks more like an arm cannon, like Mega the Man type of thing. It looks like Mega Man. It looks yeah. like he looks like he's wearing an arm cannon, yeah, shooting like Mega Man. Yeah, but then the I'm rabbit in the true. background's holding a gun, shooting the thing. It does the same thing. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> okay, the game looks crazy. But that's I think that's the point. It's rabbits. When isn't the game crazy? Yeah, I think that's the point. Whether or not it's good, I have no idea. Right. You hope it's good. I, I'm hoping it's good. Um, yeah, I, I you know I'll wait for for us to finally see it at E3. Hopefully, it's supposed to be playable at E3. So hopefully, we'll we'll have, we'll know at least we won't be at E3 to play it, but we'll know by watching. You know, if it looks good enough to us to want to even consider buying it. Um, <laughs> we obviously are already considering buying it, but again, I need to see what what this game is. The, having some media leak for it and some emails yeah, doesn't right, right. really, it's not the same as seeing the game, right? Yeah. Like you could tell me a really stupid concept for a game or like for a Metroid game. Give me a really dumb concept and I'll be like, God, it's the worst Metroid game ever. But then all of a sudden I see it and I'm like, oh man, that's good. Yeah. Like yeah, I got to see it before I know. That's where I'm at with this right now. Mm-hmm. So what, what we can say from what, what we've gleaned is obviously we already said the 35% 65%. They have like this roadmap for it. It's supposed to, it was supposed to be a surprise announcement at E3. Here's the thing. This game's, <laughs> well, been, this game's been rumored, I think, since yeah. before the Switch even was oh, yeah. announced. It was, yeah. So it's like, we, <laughs> kind of, we even me. knew the game, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Like we even knew that, that exact name. We knew this like last year. <laughs> yep. So it's like, you know, thanks Emily Rogers and other people who, who were releasing all this info. Uh, and if you're watching the video version, you wonder what Eric's always staring off at. 
He, he's watching yes, a Raiders game. It's okay. You're yeah. actually looking more at the camera. So, <laughs> yeah, right. So yeah. maybe they don't even th- see it thinking yeah. weird about it. But no, it, it's one of those games that it looks so far like a very interesting concept. And it's coming soon. According to the, the, the little thing they released, they're targeting August. Yep. Which, if you pay attention to the release calendar, this potentially sets up ARMS in June, Splatoon in July, Martin Rabbids Kingdom Battle in August, Skyrim Remastered in, what is it, September, mm-hmm. and then whatever in October, I don't know, it could be, maybe it's 2K, NBA 2K maybe that, that yep. month, and yep. then all of a sudden, November, Mario, you could start seeing now they have a major game lined yep. up for every month. Yep. Now, granted, you would love to have multiple major games, so that means third parties are actually making things. <laughs> right, but <laughs> you got to remember, we're but only again, so far into this. And we're talking about cycle. we're talking about Nintendo, where the Wii U came out and then didn't have any after after uh, what was it? Nintendo uh, Lego City Undercover came out, didn't have any games for, in a major game for like five months. Mm-hmm. We're talking about a DS that didn't even have a major game until like nine months after its launch. So, I mean, we're talking about a system that is lining up a lineup in this first year. Where every single month there's a big game. Even yeah. this month, even in May. It's not a Nintendo game, but Minecraft is huge. Oh yeah. And it came out. And that's a big game. It's a big deal. It doesn't matter that's old, just like it doesn't matter Skyrim's old. There are big games that are going to sell. So it's like every single month since launch, there's been a big game. Yep. What what else do you want Nintendo to do? They're a single company. Yep. If you want more than that, the third parties have to start getting on board, which is what makes me so frustrated with what EA is doing. Yep. But that's the thing. If third parties get on board, suddenly it's not just this one big game every month. It might. It just means you're going to have a big game every month, and then some months you're going to have more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, again, this is the first year. We don't know what 2018 is going to look like yet, but I'm liking it. Nintendo, if people want to know if Nintendo learned its lesson, Big game every month. That 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 seems like a lesson learned to me. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. You gotta give him props for that. So, again, let us know if you're excited about Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. <laughs> I gotta think about that name. It doesn't really roll off the tongue. They're calling it MKB. So no RKB. A- RKB. RKB. Rabbids. See, they're not even putting the M in there. Yeah. Bastards, no. you're cutting Mario out of the title. They are. When you abbreviate. Oh my yeah. god. Kill you guys. Um. Yeah. Anyways, we don't really have a lot to say about it yet because we haven't seen it. It's I just, I, I, it's I like confirmed. The art. I like it. It, it, it exists. It's, it's, it's real. Looks awesome. It's real. That, that's all that matters. It exists. <laughs> oh my God, brother. Emily Rogers didn't lie to me. Right. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Well, that's going to do it for this week's podcast. Uh, I want to thank everyone for, for tuning in. Uh, if you'd like to support us on Patreon, mentioned it on a pre- in a previous segment, but you know, patreon.com slash Nintendo Prime. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter at Ninty Prime. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter if you want at Nate Jance. I do not tweet a lot. I usually tweet about sports, occasionally Nintendo, <laughs> uh, especially if I'm on the road and there's something dumb that happened, like this FIFA thing. Yeah. And I want to get a quick, quick reaction out and I don't have time to make a video. Um, I also do want to apologize. Uh, by the time you guys hear this, it might not matter. But the week prior, our last podcast week, we were a little light on the videos. There's only three segments for the podcast, and I didn't have a lot of video content going out, despite there being some things I wanted to talk about. I have a life, and I, I don't want to use that as an excuse because this is my job. But uh, yeah, it was a rough week. It was a very, very, very rough week, uh, just just from a personal life perspective. So. Uh, I apologize for that. Hopefully this week has been much, much better. Um, I know right now when I'm recording this podcast, I have three other videos in the work. I'm hoping I can get them done between tonight and tomorrow, but we'll see. It all depends. I was like a new editor. We might be hiring for the podcast. So like if he comes through for me, awesome because Mm -hmm. the podcast editing is, I I know it it might look simple folks because it's a green screen, throw an image up. There's us. And every now and then when we mentioned something like the graph earlier, you know, throw the graph up and yada, yada, yada. It is easy on the surface, but there's a lot of fine-tuning in the audio I do. There's the splicing. There's the fact that because I'm using Sony Vegas, it's easier for me to like make one video and then go up and undo, undo, undo until I get back to the part I deleted and then delete the, the episode I just made and then move everything over. And I know that's not the most efficient way to do things, but I've had issues when I try to save the file and go back in and find the exact spot I cut off from before. It just, I'm not a professional. Yeah. That's what I'm kind of getting into. So it does take me a while. Uh, and plus the rendering time on these episodes. Some, when some segments are a half hour, 40 minutes long, an hour sometimes. <laughs> you mean like our first? 
segment. Dude, I, the first thing was probably it was probably a good forty minutes once I edited it. Maybe yeah. it'll be an hour. I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for tuning in this week on the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Yep. As always, I am your host Nathaniel Ruffle Jance, joined by Eric Warren. And, and I also want to again shout out to Josh for sending in that that fan that, topic exactly. and and keep keep them coming in. Yeah, yeah. He said he's going to send more. All of you guys are welcome to submit fan topics so in the comments. Or preferably through email, so it's not something that gets talked about by our fans before we get a chance to talk about it. Um, but hey, we're just excited to be here. We're excited we have an audience. We're excited we have at least one fan. One fan. One fan that, that wanted yeah. to get a hold of us and uh, let us know what's up. I realize our podcast is probably one of the least viewed things on our <laughs> channel. I think each each segment gets like between 200 and 300 views. But I'm proud of those 200 or 300 views. Hey, why not? Proud of it. Because this podcast... If everything ever hits the fan for me and I have to go work a full-time job somewhere else, I guarantee you this podcast will be the one thing that always get, that always goes. Because yeah. I love it. Love talking Nintendo. Love having a buddy to talk about it with. <laughs> Hopefully some more people on yeah, in the right, future. Yeah, right. For sure. But thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next week. Peace out.